Construction on the new fire station off of Mississippi Boulevard and 111th Avenue in Coon Rapids began just over a year ago. After a long snowy winter, job superintendent Daryl Lepper says the project is back on track. We're at the stage now where we're trying to finish up on the north side with the masonry, with the uh, arches and all the brick on the north side so we can start curb and gutter, sidewalks. The interior of the 32,000 square foot building saw the final pour of concrete last week. Now, with roughly three dozen contractors on site, the finishing work can take place throughout the building. We're in one of the four identical bedrooms here. Uh, when the firefighter comes in off the hallway, they, the door closes behind them, they have total privacy. Coon Rabbit's fire chief, John Piper, took us on a tour of some of the key points of interest in the new building, like the large multi-purpose classroom. This room ser serves multiple functions. Uh, the primary role of this room is the training. All classroom training will be done in this room, but the room is also used in the event of a large fire as a fire emergency operations center. We're out here now on the apparatus floor. There's four double deep bays that will house a variety of equipment, including trucks, trailers, and, and different equipment. This new larger fire station also has two additional drive-through bays for the frontline fire engine and rescue truck. When fully operational, the station will be a training ground for firefighters. We've really put a lot of emphasis on training and in order to do that, you have to build the training props into the station. So we have a lot of different things here that our training officer will be able to use to train our firefighters to be proficient and uh, safe. Built into the station's design are the latest standards aimed at keeping the firefighters safe from harm. The uh, HVAC systems make sure that everything, all the air on the apparatus floor stays out there and basically it separates all the carcinogens from the turnout gear after a fire and of course the truck starting up and the exhaust, all that stays on the apparatus floor and there's sensors there to ventilate it as necessary based on the levels. The new building will soon replace the old fire station 3 which has been in service in the community for over 50 years. And we look forward to probably the end of July taking possession.